going through anything. Glory to God. I want you to hold on to God's unchanging hand. Amen. Hold on to God's unchanging hand and never give up hope because as long as there's life, there's hope. And you got to have faith. The Bible says even if you have faith the size of a mustard seed, amen, you can move mountains. If you believe God, the Bible says that faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. If you have faith to believe God for your situation, God can turn it around. You got the faith, God has the power. If you have the faith, God has the power. He just wants you to believe in him, amen, and trust that he is able to do whatever you need him to do in your situation. A lot of times we make it so hard and we make it seem like it's so hard. It's not hard. It's not complicated. It's faith. If you have faith, you automatically obligate God to move on your behalf. And guess what? He's waiting to move on your behalf. Glory to God. He's waiting to give you a miracle. He loves to show off and show how bad he is. Glory to God. A lot of times we focus on what the enemy is doing. Amen. We, we concerned about the enemy and we walk in fear but God said I don't want you to walk in fear I want you to walk in faith because I'm going to show you just how bad I am I'm going to show you I'm not just the God of the Old Testament I'm the God of the New Testament I'm the God of the right now I'm the God that's the same yesterday today and forevermore and if I did it before I can do it again. Glory to God. Bless the name of Jesus. I'm excited tonight about the God that we serve. I'm excited about the God that's going to change your life. Glory to God. I'm excited about the God, hallelujah, that's going to move mountains from you. Amen. Because you believe. Amen. He's going to do it for you simply because you believe. It's not complicated. He just simply wants you to believe. The woman with the issue of blood, she believed God. And she pressed her way through the crowd. Glory to God. She didn't ask Jesus no questions. She just pressed her way. She said, Skip, listen, I, I, I got to get to Jesus. Amen. And when she got to where he was, she touched him. Hey, glory to God. She just touched his garment. Oh, glory to God. She just, if I can just touch the hem of his garment. And she was made whole. Jesus said, only believe. If you would only believe the impossible, I am able to do the impossible in your life. There is nothing too hard for him. Glory to God. I want somebody's heart to be encouraged tonight. And that's what God as a keeper is about. It's about encouraging. God said, listen, go and let the people know. It's not just about the book. To God be the glory for the book. But God says, listen, I need you to do a network. I need a network so people can come on the show. Amen. And tell what I have done for them so somebody else can be encouraged. God said, I want a network so people will know that I am a keeper. It's not just a cliche. It's not just a book, but I am a keeper. Somebody need to give God a praise for being a keeper. He's a keeper. Glory to God. And he has kept you so many times. He has kept me so many times. So many times I felt like giving up or, or thought I was alone. Amen. Or thought I was going to die in a certain situations, Or thought I wasn't going to make it in certain situations. Or didn't know where my last meal was going to come from. Or didn't know God is a keeper. Hallelujah. God is a keeper. Glory to God. And he's keeping you. And he wants you to know to not give up hope. And don't get discouraged. Amen. I know sometimes we get discouraged because things happen. Things happen. That's life. Life happens. And sometimes it's unexpected. But guess what? It doesn't catch God by surprise. <laughs> oh, bless the name of Jesus. Nothing catches God by surprise. He wants to test your faith. Glory to God. He's testing your faith. Believe God. Trust him. And he's going to keep you through whatever it is you're going through right now. Glory to God. Bless the name of Jesus. Amen. Glory to God. We have our guest that's going to be coming. Amen. So I need you to stay right there. Amen. And remember, hallelujah, that God said he would never leave you nor forsake you. Don't turn that dial. We're going to be right back. God bless you. Welcome to God is a Keeper. Amen. Glory to God. Thank you. Once again, for tuning in to the show, amen. It's good to be in the presence of the Lord. Thank you for welcoming me into your home, into your space, wherever you might be. Amen. Tonight, amen, we have an awesome, once again, 
an awesome show. Amen. We have a beautiful, awesome woman of God that's here with us tonight that's going to be our guest. Amen. Our sister Jennifer White. Amen. Glory to God. Bless the name of Jesus. Amen. God bless you, precious. Welcome to God is a keeper. Thank you so much for agreeing to be on the show. Amen. It's such a blessing. It's such a blessing to have you here. Amen. And, and I actually, I wanted to get you on this show. I really wanted you to be on this show because your testimony is so powerful. And, and it shows the power of God in your life, the strength of God in your life. And, you know, and how you held on and, and kept your faith and, and trusted God when the odds were against you, the trials. And so uh, uh, I, I just, you know, a testimony is just blessed my heart, you know, even seeing her even now and years later, we always kept in contact. Amen. But I said I had to have her on the show. God put in my spirit and I thank God that he made the made it available for you to be here. Amen. And so we thank God for you, for your yes. Amen. Even agreeing to be on the show. You are going to be so blessed. You're going to be a blessing to so many women. Amen. That's going to know. Amen. And understand that if God did it for you, God can do it for them. Amen. Because there's somebody out there that is going through the same thing or have and you in your testimony is going to help them out. Amen. It's going to give them the courage, amen, to stand and know that God is a keeper. Amen. As he has kept you. Amen. Why don't you share a little bit about your story, your testimony and, and, and bless the people on tonight. Amen. Um hello everyone. Uh, I just want to say first God is so good. Amen. Amen. Yes. Um Pastor Perry first asked me if I can come share my testimony, I was a little hesitant. Um, I'm not one to be in front of cameras and talk in front of people. So I'm a little shy. I'm good one-on-one. -on -one. But uh, <laughs> I knew that was the enemy. And I prayed and I said, God, you know, this is not for me. This is for you. And if I can help even just one person, then that's what it's about. And I just pray that I can help someone tonight that may be going through what I went through. Um, so I gave my life to God in 2005, um, born and raised in the church, but didn't have a relationship with God. Mm -hmm. Jesus. Uh, like I said, I gave my life to him in 2005, and um, my life has never been the same. It's the best decision I ever made. Thank you, Lord. Um, God is just so good. It's a time in my life where I was being attacked left and right by the enemy. I mean, we talk about spiritual warfare. Okay. Yes. Yeah. I never knew what that was, but boy, did I get to it. And I was on fire for God in 2005. I used to tell everyone about, do you know Jesus? I don't care where I was. Do you know Jesus? Right. Amen. 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 And I was just so on fire for him. And um, the enemy sent a distraction. And you know, I'm new in the church, so I'm thinking everyone is Christian, you know, but I had to learn the hard way, but everything happens for a reason, and I would never take it back, um, and then, uh, got some distraction my way, and I met someone, and, um, it was from my church, and we got married, and unfortunately, the devil used this person to attack me spiritually, and in my mind, it was just a nightmare. Um, but God is good to help me through. Um, Thank you, Jesus. You know, a lot of things happened in the marriage where I was just so confused. Even for a while, uh, maybe I was a little mad at God, but I said, you know, God, you did it because I did this. You know, um, I realized that when we're in a relationship, we just can't jump into a relationship. Even if they are Talk in the church. It. Talk about Because the devil goes to church, too. And so that was my lesson. Say so. That was my lesson. Um, you know, you have to pray to God about everything and just not jump into a relationship and think because he's in the church that he's the one or he's the man of God, the son that God has for you, right? The son mm -hmm. Amen. And so, yes, we, I went through a lot of things in that marriage. Well, God got me through, and it was hard at first. I, I couldn't leave. It was seven years before I left. It was a soul tie. That, mm -hmm. And when they say soul ties are real, they are. Soul ties are real. So yes. Be careful. Yes. And Amen. they're not easy to break. Amen. They're not easy to break. Amen. The pastor's a witness. She used to pray over me all the time. 
I woke up to her, my brother Perry, and said, I don't know why, I feel like I can't leave. It's like a bondage on me, I just could not leave Jesus. But finally, God set me free. Mm. Glory, Glory to God. Glory, Glory to God. Um, hey, God, thank you. Anyone I talk to about her, they know how much I love her. Jesus. Her and her husband. Thank they would, at 3 in the morning, I don't care what time, she would be there for me. Jesus. Times when nobody was there for me, her and her husband were always there for me. Jesus. And I uh, just thank God for the thank true blessing God. that she's been in my life. Bless your name, Jesus. Um, Bless your name, God, Jesus. He's amazing. He's yes, amazing. He and no matter what you go through, even at the moment where you feel like you're just never going to get through this situation, mm -hmm. I heard God tell me, my grace is sufficient. Come on. I'm there with you. Yes, yes. In every moment, I'm with you. Thank you, God. Um, Thank in the midst God. of that marriage, I also want to say that God, I was in school. I was in school to become a dental hygienist. That was my dream, to become a dental hygienist. And I got accepted. I got accepted into the school. And while I was in the program, I was still married. And... I think from so much stress now when I look back and think about it. Yes. That's why it's not more distressing than stress. When they say stress is a killer, it's a killer. And when God says be anxious for nothing, he means it. But we put ourselves Amen. in situations that we're not supposed to be in. Amen. Um, so my fourth semester of dental hygiene school, I got hit with kidney cancer. And, um, my left kidney was removed. I had a tumor on it. The praise be to God, I'm cancer free. God is a keeper. Come on, God is a keeper. Glory to God. God is a keeper. Bless your name, Jesus. And God. Hallelujah. He is a healer. God yes, is a healer. He is. Yes, he is. And he's just amazing. When I look back. Thank you, Jesus. I said, God, there's no one but you. Glory to God. And wait a minute, precious. He kept you through the kidney cancer. Yes. You completed school. I completed school. Come on now. <laughs> Glory to yes. God. In the midst of it, yes. And my professors were saying, Jesus. oh, if you want to drop out, it's fine. Just come back, you know, deal with that first. He said, no, I didn't come this far to quit. Come on. And got my service. Hey, glory to God. I back school the next week. Yes. And I graduated. Hallelujah. Four kids. Glory to God. 3.5 GPA. Glory to God. Somebody needs to give God a praise. Hallelujah. Amen. God is the keep of the strength of God. It was the strength of God Amen. in your life. Yes. You were determined. Yes. You said, listen, devil, this ain't going to stop me. I'm going to continue to press. In spite, of what, whatever, in spite of what she was going through, she trusted God. She pressed through the situation in the marriage. Yes. Being hit with kidney cancer. Yes. And in school. Yes. Come on, somebody. And she completed. God is the keeper. God is the keeper. Somebody needs to understand that. You got to trust God and believe that it doesn't matter what it is. And the enemy will speak doubt. Yes. He will speak, speak fear. I'm sure plenty of times the voice of the enemy was in your ear. Oh, yes. Oh. All the time. My but, mind was being attacked. I was in some serious spiritual warfare. warfare. And when they say spiritual warfare, boy, it's real. That yes. It's real. Yes, it is. But then at yes, the same time, as I always heard a saying where it, said, where it says, uh, the bigger your anointing, the bigger the attack. Come on. Come on now. I see, I see how you work. Come that means on, I have a big purpose in yes. life. Yes, yes, you do. And and I, like I said, I don't take none of it back because if I can help just one, Amen. Woman, then Amen. It was all for God's glory. Amen. Glory to God. Somebody need to give God a praise. Somebody need to give God a praise. Bless the name of Jesus. Glory to God. And so. So in the marriage, you you got divorced from them. You did divorce. So we got Amen. Divorced, but God did something awesome. God did something awesome. Yes, He did. Yes, Come on now, did. talk about it. <laughs> um, so I, to be honest, I wasn't alone. To I wasn't single too long. Mm -hmm. And I, to be honest, after that, I was like, I don't think I want to be married again. Yeah. But I guess God had another plan. Um, so in my church, I met 
my now husband, who is awesome. Praise God. Awesome. Come on, pick that up, please.
a female or even male who may be in a toxic relationship, just know that no matter what you go through, that pain that the enemy brings to try and destroy you and think that you're worthless or you're no good or Come on. no one's ever going to love you. Come on. Talk the devil about is a lie. Yes. Because God had bigger and better for me, but I just didn't trust him. But when we trust him and we put him first, that's when these, the blessings start to come. Jesus. We can't do things in our on our own. Hey, glory. We have to thank you, Jesus. first. Yes. And it's very important to have uh, good leadership leaders like the pastor and, and her husband. Who thank you, God. I'll never forget what Brother Terry told me. Never stayed ingrained in my mind. Thank he you, said, Jesus. you know, Jennifer, don't you think because you have four kids that you're, you're no good or you can't find any Jesus. But when he said it, I really felt it. Thank he said, you, the God. man of God. Mm. The man of hey. God that God is going to send you is going to see beyond all that. Because he's going to see the woman of God that you are. Jesus. And I, I can't wait to tell Brother Perry this. Thank you, Jesus. This is what he said came, came to pass. It came to pass. Somebody give God, God a praise. <laughs> hey. Glory oh, to God. Yes. Yes. A God, God's man. Amen. That loves you yes. and your family and your children. Listen, yes. somebody needs to understand. Listen, when God has somebody for you, it's for you. Amen. If there's nothing the enemy can do about it, he can try to make you feel like nobody's going to want you or you can't find love again or love can't find you. Because the Bible says when a man finds a wife, he finds a good thing. Amen. Amen. Glory Amen. to God. Bless the name of Jesus. Amen. I thank you so much, daughter, for being on the show. Amen. Amen. And for being a blessing to so many. Amen. Why don't you lead us in prayer? Amen. And pray for those that are watching. Amen. Whether it be man or woman. Amen. That is watching. That need that encouragement. That concerning God being a keeper and, and, and God being a healer, amen, and God being a God of restoration, amen. Why don't you pray right now, amen. Thank you, Jesus. Father God, thank you, Lord. We just thank you, Lord, because you're such an awesome God. Yes. You are a wonderful God, Lord. Yes, God. And Lord, no matter what we go through, oh God, thank Jesus, you're seeing us every step of the way, Lord. Yes, Lord. Even when we think, oh God, that we're not going to make it, oh God, we're ready to throw in that towel, Lord. Jesus, you say, not yet. I'm there with you. Just wait. I'm getting you through. Thank you, Lord. No matter what you go through, yes. God. For so many women, oh God, I hear people suffering, God, going through the toxic relationships, oh God, Jesus. in toxic relationships. Jesus. God, people need to understand that soul ties are real, Jesus. Yes, God. And I'm asking you right now, oh God, for anyone who may be going through this, God, that you break it in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Lord, give them clarity hey. in their minds. Give them yes. peace, oh God. Show yes. them what you want for their minds, oh God. You have so much bigger and so much better, God. Yes, Lord. If we were to just trust you more, Lord. Thank you, God. Obedience, Father. Obedience is key, God. Yes, Lord. We obey you, God. Yes. Thank Lord, I thank you for leaders over my life, Lord. Thank you, Pastor Perry, Brother Perry, oh God, who always spoke light into thank my life. Jesus. Yes, I pray, oh God, for just being a God who is a keeper, Lord. Thank you, God. A God, Lord, who no matter what we go through, you're always there with us, Father. Thank you, Jesus. I pray, oh God, for marriages who may be struggling, oh God. Yes. I pray, oh God, for anyone who may be sick, oh God. I pray that you heal them, oh God. Bring yes. healing into their bodies, Jesus. Yes, God. And I just thank you once more, God, for getting me through. And I know, God, if you did it for me, you're going to do it for anyone and everyone, oh God. That you love us. Yes, God. I thank you, God, for your son, Jesus Christ, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Who died on that cross a yes. horrible death, Lord. Thank you, God. But because you love us so much, Lord. Thank you, God. We thank you, Jesus. We thank you, God. We deserve nothing but all glory and all honor goes to you, God. Yes, Lord. You're a merciful God. You're a wonderful God. Yes, you are, God. There's no one like you, Jesus. Yes, God. Again, Lord, I just pray for anyone, oh God, who may be going through something, God, yes, in their God. relationship where they feel they can't get out, God. Mm -hmm. They feel bondage. God, Jesus. Feel, uh, they attack, Lord. Mm -hmm. I break those chains right now in the name of God in the name of Jesus, Lord. And I just ask you, God, Please, God, show them the light. Show them, God, that you are wonderful and you have so much better for them, God. Yes, God. Help them to trust you no matter what they go through, God. Thank you, Lord. And, Lord, yes, God. I just thank you, God. Yes, God. I glorify your name, Jesus. Yes, God. It is in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Glory to God. To God be the glory. God, we thank you for
for your presence now. We thank you for your presence now, God. We thank you that you are breaking toxic relationships. We thank you, God, that you're healing. We thank you, God, that you are restoring marriages. In the name of Jesus, and God, we thank you that you're bringing new life. In Jesus' name, hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank you once again for tuning in. And until next time, be steadfast. Keep the faith for your heavenly inheritance await you. And remember that God is a keeper. God bless you.